time is 9.34 and we're a minute and a half late. So we've picked up about half a minute then? Um, minute and a half, yeah. You can see a, a vast array of track appear shortly through this girder bridge. Got the line coming from Gainsborough and Lincoln on the right, going overhead now. You'll see a loco maintenance depot on the right. Various yards containing the merry-go-round traffic that are associated with this area of the coal fields. The signals are now checking us down for Doncaster. The horn is sounding from the AWS. John has cancelled it out and uh, he's breaking it in accordance with the signals. The next arrival at platform four will be the 940 Intercity 125 service, the Talisman to Edinburgh, calling at York, Darlington, Newcastle and Edinburgh. Here we are arriving at Doncaster Station. What is it? Yeah. Can't be taking the axles. <laughs> We're doing at 9.39. The time is now coming up to 9.38. What a team. So, we've arrived just about one minute early. There we are, almost at a stand. John is in, he's bringing it nicely to a stop with no jolting of the train. Hopefully not to spill their soup and tea. And here comes our train leaving Doncaster, 22 minutes after leaving there. The talisman pulled into York. Uh, here it comes round the curve. This is by our camera position on the entrance to York Station. Waiting on the platform for the Railwatch train is a replacement for the uh, faulty piece of electrical equipment, the modules that have to be replaced. That's one of our new lightweight special effects cameras that we can get right by the railway. And into the platform comes the Railwatch train. Now, the technician who's on board the train has already identified the fault, and with luck, he'll be able to fit the new module while the train is running north uh, towards Newcastle, and so that'll restore full power to the train. Well, fixing those minor faults on the move, 